is that uh, you know, there are lots of Eastern variations, right? There are different cuisines, different variations of each cuisine, uh, you know, different according to different continents, different belief systems. So, uh, how did you select your menu? Or what should be? I focused on European rural food. It's not urban food. Urban food is not there. It's not classical. Most of the time it's classical, but always they have got a friendly touch to it. So, I just want to do the rural food, which is minimal ingredients and minimal cooking techniques. So, that's the whole idea when I'm cooking the menu. So, I was doing research and all this stuff. What actually this has had after three days when I came at the table. So, it was only lamb in the So, then the cuisine developed from there. The rural people started uh, eating the roast and potato. That was actually uh, the traditional history. And some point, uh, some places they do eat chicken and potato. And then you know, whatever is locally sourceable available. Yes, yeah. that's how the cuisine is. Right. Uh, so I just want to say the and 10 percent of my original uh, menu plan. What could you have included? I have done, see I have taken again, I have included the, this, just, I have put just the European selection here. I do have a global selection which is coming up, an Indian Eastern. A whole selection? Yes. Wonderful. And Anglo-Indian food, which is again, uh, East, you heard about the bottled masala chicken and all the stuff. So that's coming here for the Easter. And so I try to uh, collect the menus from this uh, community kitchen community, what they celebrate, how to celebrate. Tell me, uh, out of everything that you you know have out, laid out here today, what did you enjoy the most? It's very difficult. I so, know. I mean, I don't have any favorite food to to try. <laughs> Every day my favorite change. Like right. if I'm hungry, I'm happy with idli sambar. <laughs> so I don't have any favorite food as such. But you know. Uh, or okay, let me rephrase. Which 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 dish did you think turned out better than your expectation? Maybe in terms of uh, people's reactions. I think the pie was good, the pork was good, the lamb was good, the asparagus, hollandaise was that really was good. That was really good. That was a very simple dish, just eggs, hollandaise and asparagus, but yeah. it came out good. Because the, the technique is you had the asparagus, the hollandaise has to come out good. Right. Otherwise, if you gratinate it, it sticks. Right. So it came out good. Yeah. So also we have to have to mention the most fantastic baba ram. You know, which I tasted today, and I think I haven't had power in the last two years, maybe. So uh, it's amazing. Would you want to break it down for our viewers? Uh, see, it's supposed to be the only East living cake, classically. I mean, obviously, I mean, people have developed more recipes now, but it's supposed to be the only East cake and uh, spice syrup, soaked in spice syrup. Uh, so I added little twist to it, adding more of alcohol and flambe. So that's the reason I have not put. Lots of desert buffet today, so I want to stick to one There's desert. There's no need. Yeah, we'll do only one desert, we'll do it good. Right. So that's, that's the idea. So I want to just give Baba or Rama and then all call and I think everyone yeah. will be happy. Everyone's going home happy and a little high. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It was lovely to chat with you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank and you. we had an amazing time. Thank you. Thank you very much.